Welcome back to the State Television Company, Western Armenia. We are starting again our work after a week holiday. Let's see what news for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. A Zoom meeting dedicated to the 104th anniversary of the independence of Kivika. Ara Pahlevanyan died at the young age, a deputy of the Republic of Western Armenia. The 47th number of the Western Armenia Weekly magazine has been published. Vandal's actions reached up to the heroic monument in Shushi, Armenian culture ombudsman. Constantinople Armenian figure Karol Gabrielian was attacked by Turkish racist in Turkey. Let's support the state television of Western Armenia. On 27 July, Armenu Isaikian's speech, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, took place. She particularly referred to the meeting that was held at the Yerevan representation office of Western Armenia with the forcibly displaced natives from Artsakh. During the meeting, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, emphasized the importance of the nativeness and united struggle of the Armenians of Western Armenia and Artsakh. Ms. President also referred to the meetings held at the United Nations with the participation of President Armena Gabrahamian, where the issues were discussed on identity, rights and languages of Western Armenia and Armenians from Artsakh. She called on the people of Artsakh to be united and struggle for their rights. In her speech, the speaker also referred to the visit of the delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia to the Museum Institute of the Genocide Against Armenians. President Mr. Armena Gabrahamian made a note in the memorial book of the honored guests. On 4 August 2024, a Zoom meeting was held at the Yerevan Representation Office of Western Armenia dedicated to the 104th anniversary of the independence of Kilika. During the meeting, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, and the Deputy of the National Assembly, Mr. Vazgin Sisliyan, made speeches. In her speech, President Lydia Margosyan presented the historical past of Kilika, referring in detail to the history of independence. She emphasized the liberation struggle of Kilika and its significance for the Armenian people. President Mr. Armena Gabrahamia spoke about the heroic history of the Armenians of Kidika, presenting his speech in French. He introduced to the European audience and the world community the history of Kidika and the genocidal actions carried out in 1920-1921 by the Kamals against the Armenians. He emphasized the historical events that played a significant role in the independence of Kilika. Deputy of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Vazgen Sisliyan, commander of the one operation, referred to the liberation struggle of the Armenian nation, noting the difficulties that were overcome due to the will and fate of the Armenian people. He emphasized that we should be united in our struggle and expressed that he would like to celebrate the next anniversary of Kilika's independence in Major Kilika. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, concluded the meeting and thanked the participants, wishing unity and strength to continue the way to independence. Ara Pahlevanyan, deputy of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, died at a young age. We express our condolences to his relatives and friends, wishing them patience and strength of spirit. Ara Pahlevanyan recorded many successes during his short but meaningful life. His dedication and hard work have always been exemplary. Pahlevanyan's loss is a big blow for his family and colleagues. His virtuous deeds and unfolding love for people will remain in our hearts. The cover of the new issue of the Western Armenia Weekly newspaper features a photo of Mount Ararat, which is the highest peak of the Armenian highlands, 5,147 meters. Ara, the sacred mountain for the Armenian people, is the located in the territory of Western Armenia occupied by Turkey. Interesting historical facts are presented in this issue. For example, the Russian decree in 1917, which recognized the right of Armenians to self-determination and the detailed negotiations and agreements in 1919-1920 regarding Western Armenia. The magazine also refers to the establishment of the National Council of Armenians of Western Armenia in Shushi in 2004 and to declaration of the rights of native Armenians of Western Armenia. In 2007, in Stepanakert, as well as to the establishment of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia by the leadership of Mr. Armenak Abrahamian in 2011. 
In the 46th issue of the Western Armenian Weekly Newspaper, you can get acquainted with the regular sessions of the National Assembly of Western Armenia and the government, the speech of the speaker of the government, as well as other cultural and social topics. Armenian, English, French, and Turkish versions of the weekly newspaper in PDF format can be downloaded from the link below. The new magazine of Western Armenia, presenting the historical facts, continues its mission for the benefit of the Armenian plateau, protecting and spreading the rights of the indigenous Armenian people. The Ombudsman of Armenian Culture made a statement regarding the massacres carried out in Artsakh, occupied by Baku. This is not on the other side of the coin. At the state level, Baku criminals are destroying everything that is Armenian. This time, they destroyed the memorial wellspring in Shushi dedicated to brothers Vahan and Vartan Garibian. According to cultural experts, the program aimed at raising the Armenian trace continues in Artsakh, which is occupied by Baku. Unfortunately, the appropriate punishment mechanisms don't work. Karl Gabrielian, one of the famous representatives of the Armenian community in Turkey, occupied Western Armenia in the western part of Turkey. One of the shops located on the island of Kinaliada of the Marmara Sea was attacked by Turkish racists. A case has been filled in the police regarding the incident, which should soon be sent to the prosecutor's office. The incident of the Armenian diplomat had its reaction. A number of civil organizations are carrying out actions to express their protest. Armenian St. Gedik Pass Church in Constantinople condemned this attack. The initiative of the Heibeli at the District Council and Gabriel Yang gave details about the case, emphasizing that similar cases have increased in the last two years. Armenian Patriarch of Istanbul, Sahak Mashalyan, visited Gabriel Yang and expressed his support. The Armenian community of Istanbul and Mayor Ali Arkan Akpolat condemned the attack, stating that the criminals will be punished. The state television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. Our television does not engage in self-promotion and mainly broadcast political and other contexts related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as news raising various issues related to the Armenian nation. The television of Western Armenia also presents the activities of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. The compatriots, with your support, our television will open new and wider horizons. Our strength is supporting each other, and together we will be able to build a prosperous homeland, uniting Armenians. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.